It is June 19, 1953. In the morning, it looks like Robbie and Michael might see their parents again. But at noon, the reconvened Supreme Court overrules Justice Douglas and vacates his stay of execution. There are worldwide protests and a 24-hour picket line around the White House. The lawyers file more petitions. President Eisenhower receives over 21,000 telegrams urging clemency. But he refuses to meet with Julius's mother or with Manny Block. Eisenhower denies clemency and the scheduled execution is moved up from 11 p.m. to 8 p.m. so as not to desecrate the Jewish Sabbath. At Sing Sing, Ethel and Julius are permitted to spend the afternoon together, separated with the usual wire mesh. They write one final letter to their sons. Dearest sweethearts, my most precious children, only this morning it looked like we might be together after all. Now that this cannot be, I want so much for you to know all that I have come to know. Unfortunately, I may write only a few simple words. The rest of your own lives must teach you as mine has taught me. At first, of course, you will grieve bitterly for us, but you will not grieve alone. That is our consolation, and it must eventually be yours. Eventually, too, you must come to believe that life is worth living. Be comforted because even now, with the end of our life slowly approaching, we know this with a conviction that defeats the executioner. Your lives must teach you, too, that good cannot really flourish in the midst of evil that freedom and all the things that go to make up a truly satisfying and worthwhile life must sometimes be purchased very dearly. Be comforted then that we were serene and understood with the deepest kind of understanding that civilization had not as yet progressed to the point where life did not have to be lost for the sake of life and that we were comforted in the sure knowledge that others would carry on after us. We wish we might have had the tremendous joy and gratification of living our lives out with you, your daddy with me in these last momentous hours, sends his heart and all the love that is in it for his dearest boys. Always remember, we were innocent and could not wrong our conscience. We press you close and kiss you with all our strength. Lovingly, Daddy, Mommy, Julius, Ethel. <laughs>